realist theory uh, which is an important variant of the classical school of thought uh, no doubt it has uh, too many uh, uh, merits for example it's persuasive and supported by historical experience and this give a jolt to scholars to compel them to reevaluate their own uh, assumptions but still this theory is not free of mistakes we can see number of uh, drawbacks or there are number of things that we could not understand in this theory today in this clip you are going to uh, highlight some of them which were more confusing and which uh, seems uh, they they are not according to the real world so in simple words we will criticize this theory today the first thing that is uh, this theory uh, suffer from ambiguity and is inconsistent with reality since this theory was based on the power and according to this theory this especially by mark and Theo, when he said that nations define their national interest in terms of power but there is no universally accepted definition of power Morgenthau takes power as psychological relations uh, between different states. Now, the psychological relations themselves is uh, quite vague, and it is not possible to measure the study or measure the study of the psychological relations, since it is not the same for all countries. Psychological relations between all nation states make it even more complex. So there are there are number of ambiguities in this theory and it's inconsistent with reality and another wrong assumption has been made when he said that men and states seek their national interest in terms of power if let's suppose men and states seek their power in national interest or national interest in terms of power uh, then it uh, there will be a constant struggle going on between various states and there will be no systematic conduct of international relations in fact there are number of other elements as well for example the element of mutual cooperation among members of the international community exercise profound influence on the conduct of international relations so we can't say that men and states always seek their national interest in terms of power because they seek their national interest in mutual cooperation as well and another wrong assumption is made that is power is the most important goal which nations pursue power is one of the important goal no doubt power is one of the important goal that nations pursue but it is not the only important or it is not the most important goal that nations pursue in fact they have other considerations as well for example wealth culture welfare security protection and promotion of ideology also greatly influence the nations of state or oh, sorry actions of state so if you will say that the nations always uh, assume the power uh, to pursue their national interest this will be a wrong assumption they pursue their nation uh, they pursue their national interest on the basis of power but it is not the only and perhaps it is not the most important goal we can see in contemporary world condition when nations seek their uh, national interest and assume uh, or pursue their national interest on the basis of number of other factors for example welfare or cultural promotion or the promotion of their ideology and they said that the power is a permanent guiding factor to seek national interest now this make world static because uh, on different timings nations set their goals according to different objectives on certain occasion power may be uh, the goal to set their national objective but not all times so if we will say that it is the power only which set the national objective then world becomes static which is not the case so we can see that well accepted facts that nations keep on changing from time to time and again 
when they say that national interest hold its own morality is good right this is what morgan thav said but this is true only in stable period when the period is not stable the national whole or interest can't hold its own morality for example in present conditions when different con uh, nations are often ready to eliminate on other nations it will be wrong to assume that national interest cares its own morality so this can be good in stable conditions not in all conditions and it's also defective in so far it assume that there is hardly any relationship or activity which does not involve power rather there are number of activities which involve which do not involve power actually there exist non political activities which does not involve power which do not involve power for example telegram do not involve any power circulation of books or sports events do not involve any power so it's wrong to assume that there is hardly any activity which does not involve power there are number of activities which do not involve power so this is a wrong assumption again morgan thaw does not suggest any criteria for separation of political and non political activities that which activities you will consider as political activities and which activities you will consider as non political activities there is no well defined criteria given by morgan thaw and again he said that there is hardly any activity which uh, which does not involve power so this is a wrong assumption there are number of activities which do not involve power and another uh, confusion is that he said or especially the morgan thaw was saying that the circle of and a, a circle of a political actor is as autonomous as of a lawyer economist or moralist just like a lawyer sphere is based on the legal perspective economist Uh, sphere is based on utility and a moralist sphere is also based on the moral principles in such a way the sphere of a political actor is also autonomous and it's based on the national interest this is what he said but it's not quite clear about the nature of autonomy do he maintain that uh, the political realist should deal with limited uh, set of variables but in his own book yet we can see in sound book the dilemmas of politics when he said that the politics should play a role in all spheres which affect the society then how his sphere is autonomous his sphere depend on the or his sphere is overlapping the sphere of lawyers economist moralist then it's not autonomous so how it is autonomous these are the some confusions that are arising from the realist theory now another uh, good political thinker dyke he criticized this theory in a very beautiful way he said if power uh, is always the end in itself suppose we believe for the time being okay we believe the power is always the end in itself then in such a case politics could be like a game of object and in this game you have to select the current only so this the politics will be a short run game if we will accept the power and end in itself then politics will be a short run game and such a short run game which will be presumably more bloody game than chess or baseball so this game will be a bloody game and above all from this bloody game you can't receive anything you won't be able to receive anything so this game will be without moral significance the politics will be a short run game where you have to select the current only and the short run game is a bloody game and this bloody game will be without moral significance how the victory of one part spent in the game will be followed or soon followed sooner or later by victory of another and in this way life will be made up of endless rounds of meaningless struggle so 
each victory will have demonstrated and his power and that will be that so the life will be a endless uh, uh, endless rounds of meaningless struggle where you received nothing it will be a short run game a bloody game with no gains now we criticize the uh, realist theory but remember guys all theories are not free from defects so if you want to make a good research on politics you need to use all theories you need to use realist theory idealist theory system theory and decision making theory all theories you need to use them because there are defects in all theories and there are positive things also in all theories so to make a good political research you need to use the concepts from all political approaches thanks for joining take care goodbye